Hicks, Daryl Hannah, and her passion as an envoy for the environment. Her eco activities brought her to Ecuador, where she spoke with President Rafael Correa and lent her support to the indigenous groups to stop oil contamination of the Amazon. She has also joined in causes to protect the whales. Her video blog, DH Love Life, launched in 2006, focuses on sustainable solutions. Mirroring her life after her earth-preserving ideals, Daryl Hannah has also completely greened her house, which was built from recycled materials and runs on solar power. Even her couch is made of living moss, which she waters now and then. She sleeps on a bed made from lichens rescued from a rock under the foundation of her house. Her car is fueled by sustainable biodiesel and she co-founded with legendary American country singer Willie Nelson the Sustainable Biodiesel Alliance, a nonprofit dedicated to developing practices for sustainability in the U.S. biodiesel industry. In an interview with Amy Goodman from the independent news program Democracy Now!, Daryl Hanna explains why we should use sustainable biodiesel. Our addiction to fossil fuels, I think, is something that everyone's greatly concerned about, not only because of the price of gas at the pump, but just because of all the destruction that it causes around the world in every single way, shape, and form. And the fact that we have solutions available to us now and other things, such as the deforestation and the destruction of our oceans. Climate change is of major concern to this famous actress and environmentalist. To reduce her carbon footprint and eat a more earth-friendly diet, Daryl Hannah grows her own food and shops at farmers markets for locally grown fresh and delicious organic produce. Her message to the world? Transition to a plant-based diet to help stop climate change. The best thing that you can do if you want to really uh, connect the dots and protect the environment, which will also protect yourself and your family and your loved ones, is to, is to, uh, is to adopt a vegan diet. It's actually the most impactful single thing that somebody can do um, b on many levels. A, because of the methane that's put out from the industry. It's uh, because of all the transportation and, and fuel and petroleum and energy that goes into raising those, uh, those animals that are treated so bad. So it, you, you actually can't really consider yourself a true environmentalist unless you adopt a vegetarian diet. Not only does eating your fruits and veggies help to preserve our planet, Daryl Hanna explains how a vegetarian diet sustains the health of our growing world population. We're going up to 8 billion people um, in population, and so we're going to be facing water crisis, food crisis, and we already are fa facing a lot of food crisis. And if people did adopt a vegetarian diet, then, then that could help feed a lot more people who are going to be suffering and starving. So um, there's so many reasons to do it, or, or just even take little baby steps. Give it a try. Give your, get, cut, cut yourself a break for a weekend, and, and then you know, kind of build from there. You don't want to uh, make giant decisions that it scares you. You can take baby steps and, and every little bit helps. For her work in bringing awareness to the public about the sustainability of biodiesel, she was recognized with the National Biodiesel Board's Influencer Award in 2004. In 2005, she was invited to speak at the United Nations World Environment Day in San Francisco, California, USA. She also joined other celebrities in the Explore Your Environment campaign to promote environmental awareness. Aside from her repertoire of eco-awareness, humanitarian and acting projects, she has divided time to do fun things like invent and design two board games with actress Hilary Shepard. Thank you, Daryl Hannah, for lending your support to raise awareness for the most immediate solution of climate change. Be a vegan or a vegetarian. We appreciate you lending your star power to shine on notable issues and being a proponent of prevailing goodness. Everybody likes to segregate all these interests, so humanitarian interests, uh, animal welfare, um, environmental welfare. It's all one and the same. You know, and so whatever decisions you're making that are best for you and your health are ultimately going to be the best decisions for every other living thing. And, you know, it all comes down to love in the end. So just spread the love and go vegan. Thank you for your presence on today's segment of Vegetarian Elite. 
And now please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples coming up next. May kindness warm your heart always.